So uh, when you are looking at the NFP, when you're looking at the NFP, listen to your study. The NFP. So the NFP it simply stands for non farm payroll. Simply stands for non farm payroll. Those are those are fundamental news that happen every Friday right now. It's in December, the first Friday of December. That's when the next NFP is going to be. So the NFP of this month of November it happened yesterday, which was Friday the fifth. The fourth, actually, the fourth of November. So this was the news. Uh, so this was this was the news. Friday, November the fourth, half past two, half past two. That's where the news happened. The US the news. We always have the average hourly earnings. Okay. Non farm employment change. This is one of the key key things that one needs to look at. This number here, it will be the four. These people they were expect good, which is good for the dollar, okay. But now, when the unemployment rate on the unemployment rate, you realize that they were expecting it to be 3.6 percent, but they actually found out that it was tripling. And it actually so the unemployment rate now, whenever the other direction. Why? Because that's been employed or how many people are unemployed, how many people are not employed without mentioning either they are farmers or non-farmers, like this non-farm employment change. So this unemployment rate is very, very key. If ever it's negative like this, because it was 3.7%, which is more than what they were expecting, meaning it's negative, it's a negative dollar. I think the dollar must fall according to this unemployment rate here was supposed to fall. In the non farm employment change, okay, for the dollar to go up, this non farm employment change has to be positive like this, and also the unemployment rate it also has to be lower than what they were expecting. Let's say they were expecting 2.6 percent for this, this to be positive for the dollar, it was supposed to be at least 3.6 or 3.5 percent going down. So, whenever it's like that, uh, that's when you know that right now, dollar is definitely going to go up, but whenever the unemployment rate is negative. The dollar would definitely fall. Like yesterday, the non farm it was positive. Many people they thought the dollar was going to go up, but it had it wasn't supposed to go up because the unemployment rate was negative for the dollar because it was more than what they're expecting. Meaning there were more people who are unemployed. Uh there were actually more people who are unemployed. And when there are more people who are unemployed, it's actually a negative thing for the zoo. The Euro USD, if it's negative for the dollar, it means the dollar must go down. So meaning all the Euro USD had to go up. This was the news, unemployment rate a forecast. They were expecting 3.6%. The actual it was 37 So it was actually more. The unemployment rate was more than what they were expecting. That is why the Euro USD, Euro USD, it went up. So how does how can one harness such opportunities like this? After news has been released, after news has been released, after the news has been released, and you have analyzed the data and you are sure of everything. What you do, you place once you are sure that, for example, here we, we analyzed and saw that um that the news were. Negative for the dollar. So meaning one 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 was supposed to place buy stops even after this after this 15 minute candle closed, one could even start buying even there. It was also possible there. Or even just place buy stops just above like this. Your stop loss below the candle, below the 15 minute candle, like this. Then you just you just trail your stop loss as it will be going your way. You just trail your trail your stop loss. So that is how you trade NFTs. You simply after analyzing the data, once you have analyzed the data. You simply use pending orders, buy stops, sell stops, buy stops and sell stops. For example, the date of yesterday, it was negative for the dollar, meaning the dollar was supposed to go down, which is actually what happened, which was actually what happened. So meaning we actually were much more concerned about buy stops on the euro USD, same as the GBP USD. We also had buy stops on GBP USD. News was released here. So these buy stops, you also can place them even applying technical analysis as well. Also looking at technical analysis, for example, this is, GBP USD, you realize that it had created and established a resistance resistance. It broke that resistance during news time, came back to test that resistance. So either one could just buy randomly and place their stop loss below the, the previous candle, this one, or you could, you could also apply it and also apply it 
apply it, you can pick the support and shoot all the way up and also came back to this demand zone here came back to this demand zone and also went up same as here it broke this uh broke this resistance broke this resistance and continued going so those are all entry points that one could have actually entered simply after analyzing the data so this one was going to be a very beautiful entry point there beautiful entry point stop loss just below here then tp you just trail your stop loss and see how it will be moving so gbp usd or usd they all went up because of the data that we saw the unemployment rate it increased meaning many people were unemployed which is negative for the dollar which is negative for the dollar so usd jpy you realize that it went down the dollar went down upon the news news was released here news was released uh where was it released the news was released here so check what happened same as this one you usd jpy one could have sold you would have even sold after the break here you'd have even placed sell stops below this support here you'd have placed your sell stops below there your sell stops you could have placed them below that support like that your stop loss above the previous candle then boom all the way that is how we trade nfp that is how we we first analyze the data after we analyze the data we look whether we're going to place sell stops or buy stops then we identify the perfect zones to place those sell, sell stops and buy stops then we place them uh we place them like that um we place them like that or usd you realize that it also went up usd cat you realize that uh, it went down so all of this is actually predictable usd czar you realize that it also went down went down so you realize that everything that happens on the market is very very predictable especially fundamental news they are very very predictable because they actually give you the direction they actually give you the direction where the market is going to go it's not like technical analysis where you're not sure where the market is going to go up or down but it's actually something that is very very predictable 